Now, I have seen a lot of advertisements on social media and whatnot about seatbelt expanders and positioners and all these other things when you're pregnant. But this takes the cake. And let me tell you, this is absolutely not approved. Seatbelt positioning devices of any kind are not recommended in pregnancy. There are no government standards or crash testing regulating any, any of these aftermarket products. So stay away from things like this and other seatbelt expanders and positioners, and let's talk about the proper way to wear your seatbelt and how to handle airbags. You should always wear a seatbelt in pregnancy. It is the most single most effective action you can take, take to protect yourself and your unborn child in the event of a car wreck. Never drive or ride in a car without buckling up first, please. This is the proper way to wear a seatbelt. The shoulder belt should be away from your neck, but not off your shoulder across your chest, between your breast or your chest muscles. Be sure to remove any slack from your seat belt. As far as the lap belt, secure it below your belly so that it fits snugly across your hips and pelvic bone. The shoulder belt should never be placed under your arm or behind your back, and the lap belt should never be placed over or on top of your belly. As far as seat positioning, you can adjust your seat to a comfortable upright position with keeping as much distance as possible between your belly and the steering wheel. If you need additional room, you can adjust the steering wheel or have someone else drive if you need to. And then if you're a passenger, move your seat back as far as possible. Now this diagram here, it talks about minimizing the gap between your shoulder and the seat belt and avoid reclining your seat more than necessary. Also avoid letting your belly directly touch the steering wheel. What if my car or truck has airbags? You still need to wear your seat belt. Airbags are designed to work with seat belts, not replace them. Without a seat belt, you can still crash into the vehicle interior and other passengers or be ejected from the vehicle. If your car has an on-off airbag disabling switch, always keep it on. It's the best protection for you and your unborn child. One thing to remember is that as you get further along in your pregnancy, you may not be able to keep a safe distance between your belly and the steering wheel. If that's the case, if the car has a tilted steering wheel, make sure it's angled towards your breastbone and not your abdomen or head. There's also been some talk about swivel seats that you put into the car seat and then you sit on that to help you rotate a little bit easier when you're getting out. Again, we don't have any safety testing for that in pregnancy, but it seems to me that if you have that and you're sitting on it and you're still able to place the seatbelt properly and the way it's recommended, that it should be okay. But again, there are no tests to confirm that.